Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to make this card right here. And we want to begin with tracing a circle. And then I use the stamp set right here, the snowflakes. And I went ahead and got this one. And you want to mount it on. And this is just like a regular frame, nothing special. It's not one of those blocks, fancy blocks most of them use. So you just want to stamp in the circle. So I'm going to keep on doing that, but turn off the camera for now. Alright, I just finished stamping the whole piece. It looks like that. Then you want to cut around the circle. about their circle for the card. So we pull them in half. And then you want to trace your circle again. You want to leave enough for the edge so you can lift it open. Trace. And cut out. you want to make that circle inside so you want to find another circle but smaller than this so so I got my second circle smaller circle object which is shade cream but it doesn't matter so you want to put it on and you want to trace it all the way around and then you want to cut it out so I don't have any fancy equipment and don't like exacto knives, so I take a whole bunch of and I cut it around. Then I just cut it out and alright, so now I just stamp this on cement. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This one. And it's from the same stamp set. So then next I want to round the corners of this and I don't have a corner chopper. And don't 
plan on buying one because I just make cards on my spare time. So I just take a craft scissors and anything with like a Kirby shape. Just put it in. Punch it out. And it works the same way. And yeah, by using this, you'd save way more money. Alright, so then next week I want to glue this to this. I have to um, cut down the ends a little, so I'm going to do that and turn off the camera for that. But. Alright, so I just trimmed it down so it'll fit the card. Now I need to ha hair it down, and I'm going to use a glue stick for it. So next way, I'm gonna put the sentiment on, which I corner chopped, right there. And I don't have stamp, I don't have dimensions, so I'm gonna just get this like red felt thingy bobber. And I think I'm gonna cut the long strip. Two of them actually. And then I'm going to take some double stick tape. And tape it on to the back. And then take the more strip. And I'm going to just tape it down. So, this is what it looks like. And to get that, I took and stamped this on a piece of paper. And then cut it out to look like this. And now I just want to get the whole thing so I don't have these little holes. Oops. So I'll do that by just inking it on. So there it is. And I want to put that right here. And I'm going to do it with some tape. And then I'm going to put a little gem on top. Cut around it. Um, if you had dimensionals, it would work really well there. And we'll just put it on top. And there you go. It's done. You might be wondering why I'm making all these videos right now, so I'll just tell you. So I basically just borrowed these stamp pads, and yeah, I only get it for like three days or so, so I'm gonna just make the most of it out of it. And all right, so if you have any extra supplies laying around that you don't want anymore, you can always send it to me. And. Yeah, especially your stamp pads or anything, dimensionals. Alright, get crafting.